Seducer is an application brought to you by Araha for the Android phone. It is an image reducer, which basically means it will shrink images and photos in size and allow you to send them via email or to Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of how to use it. First of all, take, for example, we send, take a photo of some random objects. Now if you're like me, the default setting of this camera means the average photo is about 1 to 2 megabytes in size. But by using the juicer, I can shrink them and make it quicker in sending or uploading. I'll click on the share button, I choose the juicer, and then I choose by how many percent I would like to reduce the image by. In brackets you can see the estimated new width and height of the uh, images which will be shrunk. These statistics are based on the current dimensions of the selected image or images. I'm going to set 50% as the default value. By setting the default value, this means all images in the future will automatically be processed to 50%. You can see we will send one photo of a total size of 36 kilobytes to the application of our choosing. Let's choose Facebook. You can see the images here. We would enter the caption and click upload as if we were normally uploading to Facebook. Of course we can also reduce images that we already have on our Android. Uh, take for example these three images which I have here. I've selected them already. I click on share and then choose the juicer and it will automatically reduce all of them in size to 50% of their original dimensions. And likewise we can then choose to email them. You can see we have three email attachments, which will, which will be automatically sent along with this email. I'll discard this. Seducer also comes with some basic settings. We can click on the menu button, click on settings. We can uncheck the uh, check box which we selected before, which means that 50% is the default value. So by unclicking this, this means next time we send some photos to Seducer, we will be once again prompted with the menu to choose by what percent we would like to reduce the images. Zajusa outputs all its images to a folder called Zajusa on your external SD card. You can see we currently have four images with a total of 430 kilobytes. We click on delete all images to free up space on the uh, media. Zajusa also comes in a free version called Zajusa Lite which offers the same functionality. Except some of the restrictions are we do not have all the percents that we saw before. There is a timer between processing photos. You can see there is some advertising and we can only select up to three photos uh, at any one time. I'll give you a brief demonstration of how this works. We go to the gallery again. We can choose three different photos. Right, so now I've selected five photos. So if I try to send these to the Zajusa Lite application, you can see it will tell us we can only select up to three. So I will go back to my gallery, I will deselect three of the five, and we have two images here. Actually make that three. I click on Zajusa Light. I can choose which percent I would like to download it, uh, reduce it by. For example, if I try to click 80%, it will tell me I must purchase the full version for this. So let's try and do that again. We've selected three photos, we click on Zajusa Light. Let's choose 70% and make that the default value. As it processes all the uh, photos, you can see there is a, some advertising and a timer here. It counts down between each time, uh, between each image that it reduces. Some of the major functions of uh, Zajusa is it preserves EXIF data and JPEG files. Um, it automatically ro rotates uh, JPEG files if it has EXIF data for the orientation. It comes in Korean, Chinese, Japanese, and English. Um, it supports input images of all major types, uh, GIF, JPG, PNG. Um, the output images are all JPG with a quality level of 75. And likewise, we have uh, three photos, which are a total size of 635 kilobytes. And this time we can select, uh, for example, Gmail. And we have our three photo attachments. This brings me to the end of the uh, demonstration video. Uh, 
if you'd like, I suggest try the free version. Um, if you like it and use it lots, um, I suggest paying the small fee for the paid version and you won't have to worry about the timer or the uh, maximum limit of three images that you can select. I hope you enjoy my application. Feel free to contact me if you have any uh, problems or inquiries or recommendations or even suggestions and I'll be glad to help. Thank you for your time.